Hey everyone, it's Marisha from Road to Speech and I am so excited to be back and talking about organization. So um, I figured out a new, well it's kind of a variation of what I've been using for a long time, but I'm excited to show you how I'm organizing some of my materials. And um, as people are coming in, I'll just do a quick introduction. So I'm Marisha, I am a school-based speech language pathologist. Um, and I just recently moved to Arizona, so not Washington anymore. <laughs> um, and I blog over at roadtospeech.com and I love talking about organization um, and lesson planning and just about ways for us to work smarter and not harder and get stuff done. So at the end of the day, we can go home and relax and have time with our families and maybe have a little bit of a life, which would be cool, right? Um, so today I'm sharing how I organize some of my speech therapy materials. And so this has been like a progression. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you might have seen the different things that I've tried. But this is my newest system and I'm excited to show you. So I will turn this around and we'll get started. And feel free to say hi um, if you're here. Let me know how your day's going because um, it's Monday, so Mondays can be rough. <laughs> um, but yeah, feel free to comment and let me know how things are going or if you like something. Um, so here we go. Okay, so I found these cute little boxes on Amazon and I really, really like them because they've got like these little handlebars and you can pick them up from the side and they are super portable and easy and I just line them up. I have a couple of these. I just brought, I don't have all of them here, um, but I just set them up like this on my shelf and I can easily see all the things that I'm working on and I can grab the packets and I'll show you a little bit more. Um, but I'm really excited about how this works because they fit perfectly on my shelf and it's really, it's helped being to save me some time because it's really easy to find what I need. So we will take a look at one of the packets. So I got these boxes. Do they have kids? Um, Linda, can you clarify? I'm not sure what you mean. Do they have kids? Oh, lids. No, they don't have lids. Um, and I was specifically looking for boxes with outlets because um, I did a blog post about how I organize my themes if you want to look that up and those have lids um, but I was fine I really need these to be like grab and go and I was just getting annoyed with the lid and I found these and they were like the perfect size um, so I went without a lid but so that does mean that they are a little less portable but so let's take a look at one of the packets so Oops, pulled this out. I was trying to wash the screen. So, on, and these are getting a little beat up. I think if I were to redo it, I would use something different, but I use mailing labels and I put them on these, um, what do you call them? <laughs> these clippy things. I'm having word finding issues. But, so then it makes it really easy to see everything that's in here. So I can, if I have a student working on compare and contrast, I can just quickly pull that packet and have my visuals and materials and everything ready to go. So um, that's been really helpful. And then I have, I have to have other tabs too, I guess. And then um, in case the clip gets lost, I still have this, so it's really easy to see. And I am obsessed with these five star folders. They are, I've had these for years and years and they're still holding up so they are a little pricey um but i feel like it's worth it but then i also have some cheaper just like paper ones and you can get them especially around back to school they're only like 10 cents so that is a more and a lot of schools have these in the supply room so that's a more economical option but i splurged a little bit with my packets so um and then inside i have pencil pouches to organize like different little materials that I might have and then so with um, these packets I have assessment pieces in there for progress monitoring 
Um, and then I also have visuals. And I really like using these because then we can, they, like, if we're doing some quick drill or activities, we have a little time at the end of the session, we can do some practice with the, like, the cards that go with it. But then um, these also pair well with, like, if we're reading a book, we can use it or any other activity. Like, if we're doing a craft, we can talk about the verbs. So that's one example of one of the packets. And I've really been it's really nice and because it's so like organized it's easy for the kids to be able to grab especially the older ones they can take a little bit of ownership and grab what they need so that's like the main way that I'm organizing these packets um, and let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything that you want to see um, I'm trying to look and see oh so I also wanted to show you guys so I also got these, I'm really excited, only an organized, or an SLP who likes to organize would get excited about plastic bags that fit laminated materials. So I got these on Amazon also, I'm an Amazon junkie I think, um, but they fit all of the materials and this is great for packets that don't quite need a folder, um, but there's... So that's a really easy way to organize and they're so, ch they're, I mean, they're, it's not cheap to buy. I think it comes with like a hundred of them. So if you have a lot of packets to organize, um, that might be worth it. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but, um, this would be a cool thing if a couple SLPs in your district are trying to get organized, it might be a good thing to split and have some cheap organization. So I really like these bags because the ones you buy at the grocery store, the, the bags don't close and then like the little pieces fall out and it's not so fun um but yeah so this is a shorter scope um unless you guys are it's not a scope anymore live video um if you guys have anything in particular that you wanted to see um this is just let's see if we can zoom out so i have a couple more of these for different skills but this is my setup and so what size are the the bins or the the bags i'll post a link to all of these things so you can check out the ones that i have um because i i don't actually remember what size they are um but yeah so there it is and it i don't know i really i went through a lot of trial and error but i really like this because it's really easy to see what's there and what's not yeah, I'll post a link, Debbie, and I'll share with you. Um, and then I'll post a link to the blog post that I wrote about the themes so that you guys can check that out if you're looking for more inspiration. Um, but I will turn around. Um, so, but if you guys, let me know if you have questions. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to show you. After I end a video, I always think of something, but... Um, yeah, look for those links. And if there aren't any questions, I think we will call it good. Um, and feel free to post questions if I end up ending before this is, before you get a chance to ask your question, feel free to type it in and I'll make sure to check back. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome Monday and feel free to share your ideas if you have variations on this like i'd love to see pictures of you how you guys organize your materials um so yeah please share if you have something that you want to contribute to um or just your ideas and then we can all help each other get more organized so because i really think it does help save us some time and help us work smarter and it doesn't always have to be beautiful. I'm a little bit of a superficial organizer, I think. Um, I like it to look pretty, but it doesn't have to be. So thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you next week. I hope you have a great night.